Welcome once again to my YouTube channel as a PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, which are the next gen consoles coming out early in November. I am personally filled with excitement of which game I would want to start with. I have carefully selected the top 5 most anticipated games for November that must be played on the next gen console. Now the problem is this, what game should be played first and on the next gen console? Product not yet rated. Now starting with Dead 5, a racing game, it's out on November 6th. It's expected to be mind-blowing. This racing game has given the driver more freedom and new locations such as Arizona, Norway, China, Greece, Morocco, Brazil, South Africa and so much more with the new off-road feature included. The game promises new exciting cars. Wait a minute, it's the free game part 5. New cars are meant to be available. Unlike the previous parts of the game, this game promises to be mind-blowing. As the next-gen consoles will be available in November, this game is among the top 5 games to start with on the new console. Next, we have the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. First of all, I am mildly disappointed with Ubisoft's reasons as the game is only available on one major next-gen console, which is the Xbox Series X. I have never been so of disappointed about the game. Now I have to get the Xbox Series X just to play this game. Even knowing deep down I may give my younger one the Xbox and become evil collecting the console back to play a game that will be on the Xbox only. Anyway, as the previous Assassin's Creed games, which is cut across all devices, including Assassin's Creed and mobile phones, Ubisoft is never disappointed. Based on past relationship and love for the game, I can say a lot of PlayStation lovers like me will be forced to get the Xbox Series X just to play the Assassin's Creed Valhalla and put the console back in its delivery case. Now, based on past love, it has fallen among the top five games I will have to launch. But the question is, which game do I launch first? In a language they will understand.
Now, this game Destiny 2 needs no further introduction, as the first part of this game wasn't disappointing as of 2020. It's been six years since the release of the first part. Upon completion of the first part in 2014, I have patiently and silently been playing and waiting for the next part. Also wondering if there will be a part 2, just like I played God of War since 2014, I am sure I have played the first part of Destiny six to eight times. Knowing I wasn't disappointed, I am without any doubt that the part 2 will be making gaming more fun and exciting. This is what I brought you here to see. Without no introduction, Call of Duty is the world's most popular war game that has been created. There are other games, but since 29th of October 2013, Call of Duty has been releasing new versions of the game. Each version of the game has been outstanding. Since each version of the game has been outstanding, the previous version, which was Call of Duty Modern Warfare, blew the mind of every Call of Duty game around the world. Now, since it has gotten better, I am 100% certain that the can't disappoint Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which is coming out on November 13, already is mind blowing with the new locations, weapons, and so much more. I personally have played every single Call of Duty that exists across all platforms, including the mobile version of the game. Go, go, go! It's time to punch that time guard. Secure the sub. I'll take care of this. I'll drive. Big Papa kick the war run. And that's how it goes. 
Keep pushing! Pre-order a digital copy and get early access to the open beta and instant access to the Woods Operator Pack in Modern Warfare and Warzone. Now, last on the list is Cyberpunk 2077, a game which is set to give the Rockstar Company the producer of Grand Theft Auto a competition. As huge as the Grand Theft Auto is, especially Grand Theft Auto 5, Cyberpunk 2077 also gives almost the, sa the same kind of game feeling with a lot of little difference. It has been confirmed that a lot of the actions and styles of Cyberpunk 2077 is unique like who to kill, how to kill, and the fact that not all major characters can be killed. Having heard that the Cyberpunk 2077 open world is bigger than the Grand Theft Auto V, I am without doubt that Grand Theft Auto V may be bigger since the expansion of the Grand Theft Auto V. How about we go over the plan? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm hmm. Arasaka. We are robbing some heavy hitters. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Cut team, baby. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. Sounds simple enough. He's lead, assholes! Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, my boy. We're bulletproof. Get your ass moving now! What the fuck just happened in there? Can't stop digging Night City. Fucking Matrix. Happy now, Jackie? Yep! Yeah, I fucking hide! Time to fail! Oh my god, we're so fucked. And... Dix! What the fuck? Game risk it, V. And you. Who are you? Thanks for watching to the end. Now, which game do you think should be launched first? But first, I'll give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. And please, guys, be a darling and subscribe. I also want to grow.